Hey there, before we start the video, I just wanted to let you know that if you see anything in this video that you really like, you can go to MetallicaMom.com, Google it, type it in, whatever you need to do, and then once you get to MetallicaMom.com, if you don't see what you're looking for, all you have to do is hit that little button on the bottom right corner, and you could chat directly with me. Anything you type in there, it goes right to my cell phone. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. I messed with the settings on my phone yesterday uh, for the camera and for some reason I feel like this is really zoomed in so I apologize about that if this looks a little weird I'll try to fix it quote-unquote in post um, my husband's in the industry could you tell anyway and if you couldn't tell that means that you don't know anything about film but that's okay <laughs> I have two yeah this is this is zoomed in I have no idea why anyway I have two big bags here of empties and so I will go through them with you. I do have sent descriptions for most of the stuff. I did finish off my testers. We'll do that at the end. And I did not look up the sent descriptions for that. Okay. So let's start with the bag of non-wax. I did separate this stuff away. Okay. So I finished a body cream in uh, Mystery Man, which is available right now. Um, it is uh, warm white cedar, green verbena, and citrusy bergamot. Now, most of our stuff is 10% off right now. Um, so this is normally $13 and it's $11.70 right now. Um, as long as it's from like the regular catalog. Stuff that's like summer collection, stuff like that, is not 10% off. Licensed products are not 10% off, but bundles are, and there is a body bundle. It's not like you can get three body creams, which I wish. I think it's body cream, hand cream, and uh, body wash, I think. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. I've never bought one of the bundles before. Okay. We've got a few scent packs. I, you know what? I think I'm actually going to put this uh, in my uh, sock drawer. I'm not sure, because it really does still have scent to it. Um... So that is Clean Breeze, White Florals Fresh Lo Clean Laundry. This is really good in the laundry. I don't get it every time because I don't want to get nose blind to it, but this is really super strong. When someone says to me, what's the strongest um, scent in the laundry? This is one of the things that I recommend. Also, if somebody asks me which is the strongest scent pack, it just so happens to be this. I don't know if I've ever even warmed the wax, to be honest with you. And then we've got Sea Salt Avocado, which is going away. And a lot of people are just like, what? I remember when Sea Salt Avocado came out. It came out in the spring bricks of 2017. And it was super duper um, crazy popular. And people were super duper crazy skeptical of it when they heard about Sea Salt Avocado. They're like, that sounds like it's guacamole, but it's not. It's really, really good. Anyway, it's going away because Scentsy wants you to miss shit. You know what I mean? And then Pineapple Pucker comes back every cup every year, I think. Um... These were scent packs, and um, you know, pineapple, pineapple, pineapple pucker is a very. Uh, now look at that! Look, did you see the, what the camera just did? I damn it! I don't know what I did to my phone. Anyway, uh, pineapple pucker is a very summery fragrance, so it's normal that that's going away. Now, jammy time, jammy time is going away in the wax, which a lot of people are just like, what? Jammy Time has been around in wax since I've been a Scentsy consultant, and I don't even know when it came out. I probably could have done my research on that, but they don't have, like, finding the history of the fragrances that Scentsy has is not the easiest thing in the world. You would have to, like, Google every catalog, and there's two a year, back to 2004. That's not going to happen. So anyway, Jammy Time is Baby Freesia, Lavender, and Sweet Pea. Really, really good. The dryer discs are really good in the stronger sense in um sensi not sensi clean uh clean breeze but in the laundry it's called sensi clean in the laundry line clean breeze is called sensi clean because there's another uh, fabric softener company that uses the term clean breeze in their product so in the laundry line clean breeze is called sensi clean anyway you can also get this in the laundry line i think the dryer I think the laundry stuff is sticking around in jammy time. I might be wrong about that. You can let me know. Anyway, you can get this at 10% um, off right now. Um, normally they're $7, so it's $6.30. But then you can also get a three pack of dryer discs. If you really like the, the, three, the dryer discs, you can get a three pack, right? And that's also 10% off. The bundle and save is 10% off. Okay, uh, cotton cleanups. 
Um, I went through an entire, is it one or two? I think it's just one. Yeah, just one. I went through an entire thing of cotton cleanups. There's 25 in here and it's $10. These are not 10% off this, this month. July, almost everything is 10% off, like I said before, but cotton cleanups are not. So whatever. Um, but if you participated in our flash sale last week, which ended a couple of hours early, people were all fucking bent out of shape and they got their panties a twist. Please. It's not that big of a deal. It ended three hours early, and I know that a lot of people were disappointed, but you know what shit happens. Anyway, if you spent over $100, you got a free pack of cotton cleanups, and I did. And I didn't even read that part in the article, like the news article that Sensi Consultants got. And so I was like, where the hell did that pack of cotton cleanups came from? And I was really thankful for that. Okay. Laundry liquid in... Uh, cucumber and cactus water. This is an amazing uh, fragrance. I have a feeling that this is coming back in the summer catalog. Cucumber and cactus water is uh, crisp cucumber, wades into refreshing cactus water and sea salt. I did the review of this wax the other day. It's very good. It is in my Scentsy Club because this is in the summer collection and the summer collection is going away at the end of July. So if you wanted to try this wax and you don't even want to buy it right now, just go ahead and put it into your Scentsy Club and then it'll just come in your next shipment. And then if you try it and you don't like it, you take it out of your Scentsy Club. But if you're not ready to buy wax right now, that's okay. You could buy, you could open a Scentsy Club right now and then have it ship later. You know what I'm saying? Like Scentsy Club is, is, an, is an amazing thing. And I think that everybody should have one. Honestly, I really do. If you like home fragrance, you should have a Scentsy Club subscription. Anyway. Okay. Um, I think this is very old. This is a counter clean and it's by the sea. I think I bought this three years ago because I tried to go back and I couldn't find the counter clean available in by the sea in a lot of my Google searches, okay? So I think that it's at least two years old, maybe three years old, but it worked like a charm. As I've told you before, I do put a tablespoon or two of bleach when I open up a, a counter clean um, bottle because it doesn't bleach my clothes, it doesn't bleach the sponge, it doesn't do damage to surfaces, but it just gives you that little bit of disinfectant. Um, the counter clean is also 10% off right now, so instead of it being uh, $10, it's 9 which is, hey, save it a buck. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, it's not, a counter clean is not available in By the Sea right now, but you can't get the wax. Okay. And Windowsill Breeze, this was for a long time, for about a year, this was my favorite um laundry fragrance because it was so good it was very much like clothesline but with just a little bit of lemon at least that's the way it sounded it, that's the way it felt to me the description is fresh clean breeze flutters through crisp linen in a perfect spring moment i almost felt a little bit of lemon in here okay the scent windowsill breeze came to america in the international collection about a year and a half ago and unfortunately, I never got the wax into my Scentsy Club. And this is the last of the windowsill breeze I have. I might have picked some up in the flash sale, actually. So I might I might be getting another one of these um, in my shipment. Um, the flash sale stuff is not coming out for another, like, two weeks. There's, there's just not going to ship right away. I did have a couple of people get theirs already, which is crazy, so super fast. Mine is just sitting in a posted position. <laughs> it's not... I, it's not, I'm not expecting it anytime soon. They, they changed the shipping times for the flash sale to be within 21 days. Um, so that's, you know, that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. Anyway, I'm not going to get that. Anyway, I'm babbling. I do have a lot of wax. I did go through quite a bit of wax. I've been home a lot. Um, I have not been working my day job all so much um, because... It is summertime in New York City. Summertime, the living's easy. Um, my job is very slow in the summertime because my place of business caters to high-end Manhattan clientele and they usually leave the city for the summer. So that's one of the reasons why I really love New York City in the summer because it's nice and quiet. It's not, um, chaotic. Uh, yes, it swelters and yes, you can smell piss coming out of the, uh, subway and all that kind of stuff but it's also quieter and this the streets are not as crowded um but at the same time my other business sort of hangs back a little bit and it's a little slower so i've had more time to dedicate to fragrancing my home and my scentsy business and things are good okay 
So we're gonna go through all of this wax, like I said, except for the testers. I did not look up the descriptions for the testers. Okay, Caramel Apple Delight is described as vanilla ice cream, caramel, and white rum. It's okay. It's very sweet. It's not up my alley. I uh, warmed this because it came back and bring back my bar. And, you know, I was reviewing it for my customers. Um, but then I had to mix it with stuff. Oh, and it just so happens that I Love You Very Much came out. And I did mix I Love You Very Much with Caramel Apple Delight. I love you, not I love you very much. Love You Very Much is described as bursting red berries, dreamy white peach, and tart cranberry finished with a splash of vanilla. So we stayed with the vanilla theme, but the tartness cut it. This was not strong enough for me, did not go into my Scentsy Club, will not be in my Scentsy Club. Who the hell voted for that? Not that it's bad, just kind of useless. Okay, Joy and Wonder loved this. Oh my God, this was from the clicks. The Christmas collection a couple of years ago, either last year or the year before, fantastic. I didn't need to put it in my Scentsy Club because I still have two bars. I did um, buy extras. I think this was in a three pack and uh, it was this and Mighty Pine and oh shit, I don't remember the other one. But anyway, Joy and Wonder is really nice and it's not Christmassy in my opinion. Delightful red currant and black raspberry mingle with cinnamon stick. If cinnamon scares you, don't let it. This is not as cinnamony as you, cinnamony as you think. Oh my God, see, something's going on with this phone. Anyway, Joy and Wonder is really good mixed with cashmere and corduroy. If you have cashmere and corduroy, mix those two together. I did, and it was great. Sugar, sugar kissing. Why am I singing so much today? I, I'm, I am sad today. I'm not sad, I'm worried today. My Mr. Mouse is in surgery right now. And um, I'm trying to get my mind off of it by making this empties video. Um, as you know, maybe you don't know, I, you know, I share more with my Facebook family than I do with my YouTube family. So I'll just share it with you right now. And I'll share a couple of pictures. Okay, so let me put this down. In July of 2020, we lost Tigger. He was one of our four cats. He was the best tabby cat that you have ever met. He passed away from old age, probably because he, we don't know how old he was. He was adopted with Mouse, and Mouse is the one that's in the surgery right now. Um, so that was in July of 2020, and then last month, in June of 2022, we lost both Lenny and Doink, the number two and number three cat, and now we're down to just the one cat, and I went and picked up the ashes of the other two cats that passed away yet, uh, the other day, and oh my God, it's just, it's been, it's been emotional um, for me, as you guys know, I am a cat, you know, lady. And um, Mouse is having oral surgery today and it's gonna be extremely expensive. And um, it, there's also a, a chance that he might not make it. Uh, he does have a heart murmur and I had to make a choice as to whether or not uh, he goes through and chances you know, not making it with the anesthesia because of the heart murmur, or he just lives in pain. And I didn't want him to live in pain. And I didn't want to just put him to sleep. He's still a very active, playful, lovely, handsome cat. I mean, he's just, he's polite. He's fantastic. And anyway, so we're taking a chance today. I'm not going to think about it anymore. Okay. Sugar. <laughs> Sugar. I have sugar in my Scentsy Club. Sugar will always be in my Scentsy Club. I absolutely love it. Fruity blend of lemon drops and cotton candy. I like this on its own. I like this when I mix it with florals. I like this all the time. Love sugar. One of my favorites ever of all time. Peachy and palm trees. I feel like this title is weird. I feel like this wax is weird. I don't really understand it. It's in the summer collection right now, so it's not on sale, because I told you anything that's a limited time offer is not on sale in the 10% off for July thing. Peachy and palm trees is sweet peach and mango add a tangy twist to smooth coconut milk. No, uh-uh. Oh, I hated it, I hated it, I hated it. Sorry if you liked it, but I hated it. Okay, blueberry pancakes was really interesting. I remember when this one first came out, okay? Blueberry pancakes, this came out This came out in Bring Back My Bar last month, but this bar is from an original that I bought from the catalog two and a half, three years ago. 
Uh, blueberry pancakes is blueberry and buttered and butter layered with my late blah, 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 layered with light maple. So it's basically pancakes and blueberries and maple syrup. And that's what it is. It smells like Sunday morning. It's a beautiful morning. Ah. Why am I saying I'm delirious today? I did have a lot of coffee too. Okay, lavender and white balsam. This was not available for a really long time. This was a scent of the month for October of 2016. And it is one of my favorite scents of all time and it was not available for four years. And now it's in my Scentsy Club and when it came out in the Bring Back My Bar about a year and a half ago, I did buy a six pack of it. So I've got a lot of these. I've got like five of these in my stash. So I do warm it about once a month. Um, and I am starting to get low, but that's okay. If I get one every three months, I'm okay with that. That's okay. Uh, lavender and white balsam. Do I have to tell you what that smells like? It smells like lavender and white balsam. Uh, pink tulips. I have this going in my bedroom right now, and I absolutely love it. I have three cubes going. It's going to last two days. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's gone now. Um, I have three cubes going in my bedroom, and it's strong enough, and it's going to last two days, and it's fantastic. Uh, pink tulips is crisp apple juicy raspberries and a hint of night blooming jasmine and the ja it's good jasmine it's not bad jasmine absolutely love it St not too strong but long lasting which is like ideal right okay uh blackberry orange marmalade i have this going in my living room right now i finished off the last three cubes strong enough three cubes is strong enough for my whole living room I absolutely love this fragrance. Um, I did not put it in my Scentsy Club because I feel like even though I absolutely love it, it, it comes back all the time and I can live without it. It's okay, but I do love it. Orange marmalade and blackberry jam over sugar crystals. It's as bakery as I can get, okay? Before it becoming too bakery, which this was. <laughs> Cranberry pumpkin spice. I have one of these in my stash and uh, if you're interested in it, let me know. Cause I, um, cranberry pumpkin spice is sugared cranberry, baked pumpkin and cinnamon spice. This is way too autumnal. I think this was in my partially used bars since last year. Or I might have broken into it because it got too greasy. I don't remember. Um, I don't remember why I started to warm this. This is not up my alley. It's not my favorite thing. I have stopped warming wax that I don't like. I used to warm wax just to review it, but there's a couple of things that I just can't deal with. And I'm, I'm done with warming wax that I don't like. I just, you know, I'll, I'll sell those. If I end up having to buy them just to smell it, and then I smell it and I don't like it, I'm not going to warm it. I'm done with that. Coconut bill orchid is fantastic. It wasn't as strong this time around as I remember. Alluring orange zest, coconut milk, and silky vanilla orchid. Is this the one that used to be called uh, number 93? Any of you veteran scentsy consultants, is this the one that was used to be 93 and we had it and everything in the body line? Coconut vanilla orchid is good. Came back in to bring back my bar last month. This, I was disappointed in this. Not that it's bad. This was in the Father's Day collection. Now, when you're a Scentsy consultant, things are not laid out for you very cleanly sometimes. And I didn't realize when I ordered two of the Father's Day collection wax packs, when I, yeah, there was three bars and it was Business Casual and Mystery Man and Route 66, I think, which are really super after shavy. I didn't realize that there was a separate bar of wax outside of that collection, which doesn't make any sense to me. So after I ordered the Father's Day collection, two of those bundles, it was like two or three days later, I'm just like, what the hell is everybody talking about? The sandalwood and tangerine, what the fuck? And I'm like, oh my God, there's wax out there that I didn't order, because I have to order everything. And then I'm like, well, this shit better knock my socks off. No, <laughs> it didn't. Strong enough, strong. It's white cedar and a spritz of tangerine bright in sandalwood groves. It's okay. I don't think it's any different than we've, we've ever had. I don't know. It also came in body products, but I, I'm oh, sorry about that. That I didn't get a chance to try, but that's okay. This isn't available anymore. Um, if you wanted it, and I hope you put it in your scenty club because it's not available anymore. Desert Tropics is the scent of the month right now. And 
it's not my favorite thing, but it's not bad. It's strong enough and it lasts long enough, but it's very tropical and I'm not into it because I'm not into the tropical fragrances. Tropical berries, which I don't know what that means. That's in the description. Tropical berries, dragon fruit, mango, and pineapple. Fuck off. That's really not my thing. I don't mean to say fuck off to the, it's, just, it's, just, it's not my thing. I know there's a lot of people that absolutely love this fragrance. They're stocking up on it. It's not my thing. And then I've got testers, which I'm not going to, um, I don't have descriptions of, but um, some of them are pretty obvious. Toffee Butter Crunch. I, I mixed all of this stuff. Just like I said, my last um, empties with the testers, I just made garbage soup in the, in the warmers, color of the wax looked like mud, and then it all smells good. It all smells good. Anyway, um, can I read that through the thing because I can't read it that way. Coconut pumpkin pie, which is coming back in December. That was one of the uh, one of the ones that was voted in with Bring Back My Bar this time around. Sorry. Hug in a mug, which smells like coffee, kind of. Um, Darling Dahlia. Love that. These on their own are not enough to scent a room or even if you sit next to the warmer, you can smell it. But then you mix it with stuff, okay? Oh, Snapdragon, not crazy about it, but then again, that's tropical fruit, tropical flowers, not my gig. Um, cranberry bread was also voted back for the Bring Back My Bar that's coming in December of 2022. Let's see what this is. Oh my God, I can't that coconut vanilla orchid. Coconut vanilla orchid again. So that's, I might as well put it on top of that um, bar because I warmed a whole bar of that. Gingerbread donut, remember that one? Redwood and sage. This was nice in my in my bathroom. Redwood and sage is very clean. Lion King Circle of Life, don't like it. It's kind of vanilla. It's kind of musky. You would think it would be up right up my alley and it's just not strong enough. It doesn't make any kind of impression on me. Accidentally in love. This one has ginger in it, I think. And I, listen, I told you, these little testers, you don't really smell anything unless you mix them together. Jungle Jam, Jungle Jam was nice. Jungle Jam's uh, kind of like lime and jelly bean and lemon and that kind of thing. I liked this in the wax, believe it or not. It was in the kids line. Boom, little bicycle on there. Toffee Butter Crunch, I think again. Is that the second one that I had with Toffee Butter? Yeah, that was the second one because I had a, a big tester. Two more. Remember last week when I did my empties, I said, I know I warmed sangria. I found the empty tester. Oh, sangria is so good. It really smells like wine, but it doesn't smell like dry wine. It smells like sweet wine. And oh my God, I can't read that. Sweet amber and freesia. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I don't remember anything about this. I got every little ounce of wax out of there and the, this tester didn't smell like anything. Okay, there's my empties. Right there. Now I can throw all this stuff away and start over again. And I am like now at two bags. I have to I have to use two bags per week that I fill up my empties. And I have a couple of empties over there, but I'm not going to show those to you yet because they're not the the wax isn't even available yet. Okay? Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.